Elton John, a good heart. And he very sensibly came to Exeter to promote that. <laughs> uh, anyway, Dave, while you're here, yeah. will you tell us an update on DAB and also uh, Plymouth? Because when I say it's fantasy, we, we can just sort of sit here and imagine that we magically speak to both Exeter and Plymouth. We don't have to worry about how to get there or which authority we're in. Um, this hasn't happened yet, but th this is something that might happen. No, it's, <laughs> it's going to happen on 10th of November. Um, from uh, 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 That's the plan, anyway. The 10th of November, we shall be broadcasting uh, from our studios in Exeter to the Greater Plymouth area. Um, there's an adult population reach of, we estimate, about 300,000, because the, um, the, the signal will reach Tavistock and Ivy Bridge. Um, and it will be available in DAB. We won't, be, we won't be on FM, but of course we will also be available on the other platforms that we broadcast on online. Um, it's it's quite exciting. Um, it's an opportunity to see whether the idea of an alternative radio station, because that's what we are and that's what we aim to be, is viable in terms of broadcasting to Plymouth. It would be interesting to see because we had some decisions to make f fairly early on. Are we, for example, going to continue to be Exeter's sound alternative when we're broadcasting to Plymouth? And we took the decision that yes, we were. We were, you know, like it or not, whatever the friction <laughs> between, <laughs> between Plymouth and Exeter, we were not definitely definitely not Plymouth sound alternative we were Exodus sound alternative and as such we would broadcast in Plymouth as Exodus sound alternative but it does present the opportunity for um, arts organizations musicians poetry uh, poetry writers dra uh, drama students and so on and so forth to actually make an input to a station that is providing a service for a much larger area we're also we're also in negotiation with with uh, another extension, but I'm not going to talk about that. As I say, the the, the big extension will be talking to 300,000 potential audience in Plymouth. Well, we won't actually get a, we won't actually get an audience of 300,000, um, but, but it's a huge it's a huge challenge, and and it's a it's an exciting thing. I think it's an exciting thing to be doing. Definitely. Well, who, who else is involved in it? Uh, Plymouth Hospital Radio and uh, a couple of community radio stations in Plymouth uh, who are uh, taking that. There's um, a, a firm called Excommunicate, <laughs> which I think is a lovely name, um, and also Radio X, who are also partners in our Exeter DAB service. So, um, so are they going to change? Of course, that that sounds a bit exciting. Well, doesn't it? there's Radio a discussion. Exeter. They're they're having the, they're having the same discussion. I think about what, you know whether they're going. I think at the moment they do broadcast on DAB in Plymouth, but they have an act, they they have a, a, a service which um, uh, is separate. So that is Radio X Plymouth. But Radio X, as opposed to Radio X, if you see what I mean, uh, yes. um, are <laughs> making objections about naming rights and so on and so forth. Oh. So, uh, I, I mean, that, that's actually <laughs> not, not our problem. That's not my problem. No. So, Phonic uh, FM is well known. Yeah, um, yeah. And, and you know, it, we, actually, we actually do provide something that other radio stations in the area don't provide. We're just doing it, aren't we? Well, yes, that's that's absolutely right. Yeah, so, anyway, it's, I'm looking forward to it, and um, yeah. our, our other issue is going to be how do we publicise the fact that we are on DAB in Plymouth, and I'm trying to get my head around that at the moment. But um, anyway, that, it's it's an, it's an exciting venture for what st you know what started out 16 years ago as being something that broadcast to a very small number of people in Exeter. Well, yeah, it, sta it started out just during a, a festival. Yeah, yeah. With t temporary license two weeks a year or something. Yeah, yeah. Well, Dave, look, thanks very much for coming in. No, I, I, you know, it's, 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 a, it's an issue that is going to be ongoing 
and you know I'm glad that John has felt able to contribute because you know it, it it's very easy if you're it's it's very easy if you're able body to say well this is the you know this is the issue as I see it and not to listen to people like John who have, uh, who have got it you know it issues that I I, I don't often think about because I don't often have to confront them and I think it's important that you know when we're hearing voices about things like hebetry and the experiment that's going on we listen to people who have got other other voices yeah so tra mo motor car transport yeah. is is essential for some people yeah Mm. Enjoyed it, Will. Enjoyed it, John. Thank well, you very thank much. Thank you very much. I'm going to have a cup of coffee now. Good <laughs> idea. Right. We might we might find you later, or you might have gone <laughs> that, that somewhere else. But do 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 come back another time. We'll we'll wait till things settle down or speed up, or we've got some new information. Okay, there's new information all the time. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye for now.